evening are heavy downpours. A severe thunderstorm warning has been issued by the U.S. National Weather Service, and we expect this to hit by 9 p.m. this evening. If you're heading out, please remember your raincoats and umbrellas. store for me today. Sleepyhead, wakey wakey, we've got a whole day of fun to get started on. Hello. It's a nice way to start the day. Now you have your tea and I'll get breakfast ready. Now, what would you like? Full English or cereal? Um, I'm a little sleepy, honey. Could I have some fruit, please? Fruit wasn't on the list, was it? Okay, uh, well in that case I think I'll have whatever you're having, honey. Good morning, honey. Is everything okay, Jack? Yes. I'm I'm not hungry, that's all. Beautiful. My life, my work, my worries. <laughs> they don't matter when you're here. Thank you, Jack. Now, what are your plans today, Jack? Because I have chores. <laughs> would you like some help? That would be great. Thank you, Jack. No, 
o'clock till nine o'clock, Jack. Oh, come on, honey. I'm just trying to help you make the bed. Don't be silly. Come on. s i t together. Do you know what? These secateurs are a great buy from the Garden Depot. Only nine ninety nine. And if you buy them this week, you get a free voucher to spend up to four dollars on anything else in store. Darling, it's our song. Can we dance? I'd love to. For a quick break, Jack. Then we're back to it. Oh, thank you. Hey. Thank you. Not before nine o'clock, Jack. I know. I'm so looking forward to my soap tonight. We get to find out if it's Tony's baby or Tony's twin brothers. I think it's his twin brothers. Workout, Jack. I'm going to be lazy today, honey. But I'll watch you. You can teach me. Okay. Well, it's simple, really. First of all, we raise to the tip of our toes, and back down again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Then we lay on our side, and we lift our leg. One, two, three, four. Five, six. <laughs> so cute. Do I look silly, Jack? Honey, no, you don't look silly. You look beautiful. You always look beautiful. I just thought maybe we could do nothing together. That's all. No, Jack. I must get changed. <laughs> Try this new bolognese sauce forever and ever. 
Only 150 calories per serving and only $2 a jar. Would you like mushrooms in it or not? I think I'll pass on you. I'm not really a huge fan of mushrooms. That's OK. Mushrooms it is, then. OK. You know, we are apart from the mushrooms. This pasta is probably the best I've ever had in my life. Thank you, Jack. Delicious. More wine? Cheers. So, are you, uh, are you looking forward to your show tonight? Of course. I've been waiting all week. I know. Well, I, I had an idea. I was thinking instead of you watching your show this week, like you do every week, maybe we can do something, something different, something fun, just the two of us. I think I'll watch my soap after all. Of course. This washing up liquid lasts for Ever and ever. I certainly believe the manufacturers will. Honey. I think I'm going to wait in the other room for you, okay?
morning world. What fun filled adventures do you have in store for me today? Come on, sleepyhead. Wakey, wakey. We've got a whole day of fun to get started on. Mm. Coffee. Good. Now you have your coffee and I'll get breakfast ready. What would you like? Full English or continental? Full English, bitch. Now go make it for me. Tastes like shit. Thank you, Jack. Now, what do you have planned today, Jack? Because I have chores. Fuck chores. If I'm pussies, I do whatever I want to do, man. That will be fine, Jack. Not till nine o'clock, Jack. on anything else in store. Oh, darling, it's our song. Can we dance? What do I look like, bitch? Fred, a fucking stare. What do you like for lunch, Jack? I have egg, salad, ham, or cheese. Yeah, that chicken looks pretty good to me. Time for a little break, Jack, and then we're back to it. And later, I get to watch my soap. I'm so looking forward to tonight's episode. We get to find out if it's Tony's baby or Tony's twin brothers. We all dream of having a clean house, but who dreams of doing the cleaning? Good housewife, that's who. Huh? What was that? You know what? I've been thinking. I seem to spend all my time cleaning this house while you sit on your fat ass. Well, you know what? I'm fucking doing it then. And now we race to the tip of our toes and back down again. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we go into our hands and our knees and we do ten donkey kicks. One, two. to try this new cooking sauce forever and ever. Only a hundred calories per serving and three dollars a jar. Cook these for me, bitch. I want fries, do you hear me? Don't make me get fucking angry. Fries it is. Got another request. Wanting to dress up for dinner. <laughs> hey, this 
puto. ¿Qué, baby? <laughs> But I'd so much rather throw at you. <laughs> oh, so close. Come on, sleepyhead. Wakey, wakey. We've got a whole day of fun things to get through together. Mm. Oh, my God. This is amazing. And you're wearing the blue dress. My favorite. Oh, and the hot chocolate. Now, you drink your drink, and I'll get breakfast ready. Now, what would you like? Mm. Grapefruit? Or continental. Grapefruit, please. Mm. Thank you. You know, I don't know if it's because I'm eating this fruit here, but this fruit tastes amazing. Thank you, Jack. <laughs> now, what do you have planned today, Jack? Because I have chores. Brilliant. A chore day. It couldn't be any better. I'll help. Let's have some fun. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> See, now we're talking. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. This is so much fun. Now, we stand up, we touch our toes, our knees, our shoulders and the sky. Our toes, our knees, our shoulders and the sky. with it, fries or mash? You decide, babe. Mash it is. Perfect. Wanting to dress up for dinner. Why don't we dress for dinner? Okay, I'm game. I have to say, you really are an amazing cook. And you look stunning in that dress. I have one just like it. Thank you. washing up liquid really does last forever. I certainly believe the manufacturers when they say it outwashes all other competitors. Hey, Rhea. I think you're gonna love these drinks. <sighs> Although I want to be an actress, I've spent most of my career working in bars. Shrikin. Not stud. <laughs> Told you, Beth. I told you I wasn't gonna stand for this bullshit no more.
you like I'm ready to go. Come in. Head outside, get into the minivan. I'll inform them you're traveling and you'll pass the next husband en route. Okay, is that it then? Darling, thanks for your involvement today. You're actually one of the best we've ever had. Well, thank you. Foxtrot 4, the house is green and we are ready to go. Thank you, Indigo Foxtrot 3. J1201 is traveling and you are clear to leave when complete. Really? Do you have to tell them that bullshit? What, that she's the best we've ever had? Come on, she was. Yeah, right. We're good to go. Come on, Jack, come and get in. Hey, wait, up. is this it? What do you mean, is this it? I don't mean to be rude, but so far, this whole experience is not what I expected. I, I, I won the, the grand prize. I don't get what you mean, mate. I was driven all the way out here by that rude son of a bitch who you call a driver, and he didn't give me any instruction on what I was supposed to do tonight. I know, it's okay, sir. All you uh, need to do is on. get into bed, uh, get some sleep, and in the morning, uh, everything will be clear. I don't know. and we have two very special guests, Mitchell Lawrence and Robert Stewart Odom, creators and respective producer and director of A Day with Rhea. Good morning. Morning. Thanks for having us. No worries. So, it's been four years and five series, and the show just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> Mitchell, tell me, what is the secret? That's actually quite hard for me to answer. It's the guest stars we have, and the scenarios we put them in that makes it very watchable and unique. Now, Robert, you have won countless awards for your directorial style during the show. But at the same time, you've been criticized for creating a show that some say runs itself. True, but what most people fail to understand is the complexity and ever-changing nature of an unscripted show. I mean, sure, Rhea follows her own script, but the contestants or Husbands, if you like. I mean, we never know what they're going to do. Yes, of course. So how on earth do you keep track of everything that goes on in that house? With a lot of skill and aided by the most up-to-date technology. We have about 250 cameras planted all over the house. Some as high def and precise as this, and others as small and discreet as this. This little camera is 8K in quality. And my absolute favorite to shoot with. The others are so big and obtrusive that the husbands always know they're on. Whereas those little babies, so small and unobtrusive, you get to the real soul of a contributor. Come on. You're not into real, are you? I love it. It's my one and only guilty pleasure. The only one? Well. <laughs> hey, Jess, I was wondering if... Sorry, John, you were saying? <laughs> Vice President Fleming is also a fan of uh, David Rhea. As Vice President Chief of Staff, you know full well. I couldn't possibly comment on that. Now the audience are in control, voting over everything that happens in the house, from what Rhea wears that day to what they both eat. In fact, every time there is a question or decision posed in the house, Rhea and the audience are integral to the process. So now we have a little VT that viewers have reapped most popular contributor of the series. <laughs> okay, stop the pump. Okay, so I washed the dishes, I vacuumed, and then I dusted the whole house all while wearing this ridiculous outfit. Congratulations, Jack. You have won the right to request anything you like of me. Uh, uh, I would like to sing you a song, Rhea, if that's okay. Your request has been accepted. Okay, boys, hit it. Up. I don't need anything, not even makeup Cause I got beautiful skin In the morning, I splash my face and I go No time for yawning, just smile at people I know I am happy, you see, cause I am happy with me Ooh. Very pretty, Jack Hey, my fool, you're 
knew him, Horatio. A fellow of infinite chest. And most excellent fancy. You're in the way of my game. <laughs> well, we definitely had some interesting people on the show this week, mm -hmm. that's for sure. Absolutely. By the way, I am obsessed with the 1950s theme this series. The attention to detail is just amazing. So now I have to ask, do you think I'd look good in a Rhea dress? Erica, you would look good in just about anything. Oh, stop it, you. <laughs> well, the details are another thing our audiences love about the show. Oh, and in fact, I can exclusively reveal that next season, we're going to be doing something a little different. Every day Rhea spends with the husbands will be Christmas Day! <laughs> this should be a lot of fun. Yeah, definitely, for the viewer and even the husband. But what about Rhea? What about her? Well, again, in the past you've been criticized with... Well, with people calling the show inhumane. <laughs> Good one. I'm not even going to dignify that with an answer. Well, Robert and Mitchell, thank you so much for coming in this morning. And for fans of The Day with Rhea, you can catch this morning's episode in 30 minutes right here on Channel 6. Good morning, viewers. It's 7.03 a.m. Rhea wakes up to a new day. It's now time for you to have your first choice of the day. Please use the Rhea app to choose the Scarlet Fever or the Cinderella Lipstick from Fab Cosmetics. Good morning, world. What fun-filled adventures do you have in store for me today? You can also suggest the daily chores through the app, too. Rhea, now back in the bedroom, is ready to get dressed. By the way, ladies, if you like anything Rhea is wearing, from underwear to outerwear, remember, you can find the details of the items on our website. Okay, Mitch, you haven't said much tonight. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just goddamn pissed at that presenter bitch this morning. And I know there will always be idiots protesting against Rhea. True, but I kind of got used to it. I just thought you had. Of course I have, but the producers of the morning show promised me an easier ride. Well, as long as it doesn't decrease our viewing figures. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. No, actually, the more controversy, the better. Thank you for reminding me of that. That bitch this morning helped us out after all. I bet you those idiots screaming free Rhea watch her every minute of every goddamn day and obsess over it. They're hypocrites. You're right. <laughs> of course I am. Hey, trust me on this one. The more drama we bring, the more people will be against it. And the more people will watch it and will love it.
So are you excited about tomorrow? Of course. It's been a long time coming. Awesome, man. Got anything special planned, or are you just gonna improvise the whole thing? Well, they did suggest to have a party piece, but uh, I think I'm just gonna wing it. Mr. Vice President, I have some files here that need your attention. Great. There's also an email that is addressed to you. What does it say? Honestly, I don't know, sir. For one, it's locked under your personal security code, and when we looked into the IP address, it flagged up as probably coming from your son. We felt it must be private. All right. Well, thank you, Jess. That'll be all for tonight. Have a good evening. Gosh, look at that. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> hey, hey, what are we doing here, huh? You just having fun? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean it. No. No. Right. The next one will have to be a hit and elevate our figures through the roof. I want drama. I want scandal. I want viewers on the edges of their fucking seats. Well, you're gonna love this guy, then. The background checks came back with something fairly interesting about him. Oh, really? Like what? He gave us a false identity. He told us his name was Jason Sampson. Okay, but why and who is he? And should I be worried? I don't think so. His real name is Fleming. I don't understand. You don't mean he's related to Vice President Joseph Fleming? Yeah. It's his son. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Hey, where is he? I want to speak to him. Uh, he just left in the car. OK, well, let's get him on the phone then, shall we? That'll be for you, Jack. It's always for the main contributor of the day. Hello and welcome. I'm Robert, the show's director, and this is Mitchell, the producer. Hi, I'm... Jack. And yes, we know who you are, really. But that doesn't change the fact that from now on, you're Jack. So you better get used to it. Oh, yeah, sure. Few things before we take you in. You probably know them, but the rules are simple. No tech is allowed. No phones, no IPAs, no headsets, no computer bracelets. Absolutely nothing. All phones and TV in the house are fake. Don't reveal the truth to her. Spoils the illusion for everybody else. No swearing, sex, or violence before 9 p.m. at all. It just won't be broadcast. Now, go in there and give us something new, something we haven't seen before, something that will make you a star of the season or even of the entire history of a day with Rhea. Push the boundaries. Make it a party. Get out from under your father's shadow. Imagine you come out of the show and the whole world cheers. They want to party with you. It's your show, not hers. The cleaning crew in the car with you will erase all memories of the last Jack. You got a clean start. Go ahead, son. I certainly will. That's the spirit. Okay, one last form for you to fingerprint. Then we'll take you into the secret location. Rhea and Jack's house. One last thing, what about my list? Your uh, list of requirements, likes, dislikes, food, sexual preferences. They're all taken care of. Now go in there, son, and give us a good show. We'll be watching. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I have got a good feeling about this one. Now, how do we play the press? We gotta let them know the VP son is in our house. Without letting them know. Who's your dad? Um, 
No one, really. You okay down there? Oh, yeah. Just a little bit of cramp. Happens in the car sometimes. Oh my god. It reads like a goodbye letter. What are you gonna do, sir? I don't know. What do you know about this show, A Day with Rhea? Only that it's the most popular piece of entertainment on the planet. When was the last time you saw your son, sir? It's been a while. Look, the only thing I'm really concerned about right now is protecting this administration and keeping this quiet. I, I assume he's gonna be on tomorrow? Judging by this letter, yes. But I don't think we should rush in too hard. Why not? The show never reveals a contestant's identity, so why not see how this plays out? Don't think he's planning anything drastic. Certainly, this letter doesn't prove this is gonna be a problem for you or the president. I agree, sir. Besides, the production company may not even know he's your son. And if they get the slightest hint there's something wrong, that if anything, our action rather than inaction may go against us. I don't like it, but fine. But this stays right here between the three of us. There's no reason for the president to be alerted about this, not yet. That's all, thank you. Good night, Rhea. The time is 7.03, and our gorgeous Rhea is waking up to a fresh day. Isn't she beautiful? Get ready, viewers. It's now time for your first choice of the day. Make it a good one. Use the Rhea app to choose the Red Devil or the Purple Rose Lipstick from our friends at Fab Cosmetics. Good morning, world. What fun for adventures do you have in store for me today? Just you wait and see. Don't forget, viewers, you can also suggest the daily chores through the app as well. Sleepyhead. Wakey, wakey. We've got a whole day of fun to get started on. Ah, tea. Lovely. Now you have your tea, and I'll get breakfast ready. What would you like? Full English or continental? What the fuck just happened? We lost the signal! I can see that, jackass! We have never in the history of the show lost the fucking signal! What are you going on? We lost the goddamn signal! Okay, we'll try it, we'll try it! Are we still on air? We're trying, we're trying, we're trying, we're trying. What do you mean? You don't know! Read my lips! Are we still on air? Listen, I'm not sure. 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 Okay. Thank God we hadn't come to the press yet. Huh. Yeah. You're just going to end up back directing no. shitty little commercials. Yes, yeah. Commercial. Hey, play a commercial. No, no, no. Play no, 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 commercial. I didn't like my job. Thank you. Cue in the garden supply store. In the next five minutes. 
Now I want the TV eight, show to seven, air. Six, Answers to five, what just four, fucking happened. Three, and an extra two, hot cappuccino. Okay, I'll have one too. Get this guy close. Get this guy close. It's off the air. I don't know how, and I don't know if this was part of your son's plan, but it's completely off the air and replaying old Rhea commercials. Okay, so? This has to be good news, sir. Perhaps the production company found out who he was and pulled the plug, rather than give him a critical platform. My son's a fucking idiot. But it is off the air. We need to make sure it stays off the air. Rhea, it's okay, really. I don't think anyone can see us. He told me he'd be here by now. What do you have planned today, Jack? Because I have chores. You don't understand what's going on here, do you? You don't have to follow your script anymore. Okay, look, let me explain. I was paid a lot of money to disrupt this show. I don't know how long we've got before anybody gets here. But I have done everything that I was asked to do. So why do I feel like this isn't going to plan? Are you one of those free rear do-gooders, Jack? Maybe I don't want to be saved. So eat your breakfast, Jack. It's getting cold. Rhea, stop. Let me call him. He can explain better. If that's what you think is best, Jack. understand what's going on. She's acting like we're still being filmed. Trust that I have a plan. And don't call me again. You know what? These tickets are great buy from the Garden Depot. It's Ben, isn't it? Can you play back the moment when Rhea brings Jack his morning drink? The moment just before we lost the image. There, see it? Zoom in on that. What the hell? Yep. Yep. I understand, Director, and I assure you, the Vice President will be eternally grateful. Of course, madam. I'll pass you over now. So your wife would like a word. <clears throat> Hi. Yeah, I'm... Yeah, uh, yes, of course I'd be watching. Hun honey, would you, would you calm down, please? Uh, believe me, I have everything under control. Yeah, I know. Honey, do, do you believe in me? Do you believe I'll get it done? That I'll doesn't sound good. No, you're worried. Well, what do you expect? How did it go with the FBI? Uh, it was difficult. Because I couldn't tell him we knew who today's husband is. I see. Better you than me. Thanks. Believe me, I have it all under control. Next. And you can stick to your script if you want. It's fine by me. All the cameras are off anyway. Just answer me this. Do you understand me now? Of course I do, Jack.
don't understand. Why, Rhea? I'm sorry, Rhea. Sir, I can get you pictures in seven, six. Okay, five, good. And commercials on her account. But sir, we can't. Three, Just do it. Two, one, and we're live. Get it off air now. No, call the police to the house. That way we're covered. What? No, it will take the police over three hours to get there. Exactly. Just do everything we're meant to do. Just take your time about it. Okay, guys, well, what are we waiting for, huh? We got a show to make. Now, come on, give me a shot at Jack. Give me a close-up. That's the best angle I got, sir. Okay, that's good enough. Now, bring in some music. Make it slow and intense. Hewing track D30. Oh, that is it. This is what I call sexy television. Ladies and gentlemen, we apologize for going off air earlier. That was uh, out of our control. However, the images you are seeing are live. The the current jack in the house is, we believe, taken hostage. Bria, you don't have to do this. I'm on your side. The guy who paid me, he loves you. He wants to free you from all of this. He must have a lot of expendable resources, too. What do you mean? What I mean is, think about it. I'm sure I'm not the only person he paid to get me in this house with you today. The TV show has a lot of stringent security and background checks, not to mention getting me fast-tracked through the full audition phase. It's all a part of the plan. And he did all this for me? Yes. As I said, he loves you. No, of course I do, Jack. Let me ask you a question. Who do you think you're talking to now? And in fact, I think you've done too much talking already. Give us some good news. What's going on with her? Oh, 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 well. Mitchell. Hello, Tonya. So, is she being hacked from the outside? Using that cell phone? What phone? You don't know about the how phone? Do, how, how did they get a phone in here? I don't know. Uh, sir, do all the same check. there's a call waiting for you. Nope, I said no. No, it's not the best time, kid. Uh, sir, no, it's no, important. No. I, I think you better take it. Rob, did you know anything? Sir, this call, it's from the White House. Just a minute, and I'll pass you over to the vice president. I've got the producer, Mitchell Lawrence, for you, sir. Speakerphone, please. Mr. Lawrence, this is Vice President Fleming. I'm sure you know exactly why I'm calling. Firstly, my condolences, sir, on the dreadful turn of events on the show today. I promise we're trying to get your son out as best as we can. I've been told that it's not within her capabilities or programming to harm anyone. She just hit him on the head tied him to a chair and is threatening him with a knife. I think you and I have very different ideas about what constitutes harm. No, sir. What I meant was mortally. There's no way that she could kill. All right, I'm not going to ask you to pull the broadcast again because people will ask too many questions. But I'm sure if this does go south, you have your own set of rules which will cover what can be shown. Of course. All right, well, what I do want is for this to be kept quiet. Look, we both know that the only way the press will find out who he is is if you or I tell them. And I can guarantee you that I will not be telling them. So will you? Sir, we only found out his true identity a few hours ago. He lied to our team. I think you misunderstood the question, Mr. Lawrence. 
Are you going to tell the media that my son is in your goddamn house? No, sir. If the media find out that our current Jack is the son of the vice president, I guarantee it hasn't come from anybody at this production office. Now, Jack, let me tell you why you're here. You're not here to save me. You're here purely for revenge. Not for Rhea, but for me. You see, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for being loyal followers throughout the years. But now it's time for some change. You see, the makers of this TV program have become rich by exploiting the public. Now it's time for us to exploit them. Take this man, for example. He knows what he did to keep his little secrets safe. Mr. Lawrence. As you know, this administration is pushing forward a set of proposals to ensure a tighter reign on the use of androids. So I would hate for my son to become the poster boy that actually puts an end to your show. Do you understand me? Sir, are you blackmailing me? I'm a very powerful man who wants his son back. And under these circumstances, should the worst happen, I sure as hell won't need to blackmail you. If it was up to me and I could, I'd walk into that house right now and pull your son out. But I can't. Why not? For two reasons. Firstly, the house is over three hours away in the middle of the LA desert. Secondly, and more importantly, if we pulled him out now, the press would know something was up and start asking those awkward questions that you don't want answered. So what is your plan? At the moment, I plan to treat him just like any other contestant. We regain control of Rhea, shut her down, and evacuate your son safely. The police are on their way to the house. Sir, they don't know yet, but the FBI have taken over. That cuts out the LA police. Now, do you have any idea why my son is being held hostage on your show? No idea. I'm guessing it's about money. But at some point, the person will contact us with demands. What other reason would anybody have to hold your son hostage? I think he's being set up. So I doubt that this guy's only motive is money. Well, fuck you too, Fleming. Get yourself to LA and pay that production office a visit. I want this wrapped up immediately. Yes, ma'am. Fuck. Why couldn't I have had a daughter? There'll be no police, no helicopters, no negotiators, or members of the public mm -hmm. anywhere near this house. We wouldn't want anyone else to get hurt. Now I want you to realize what a perfect crime this is. <laughs> you see, me, the man behind this. No point raiding the house, I'm not there. Besides, you might hurt Jack in the process, and I'm not sure your bullets would stop Rhea anyway. And now the question comes. Is this Jack's life really worth saving? All human life is, right? Life is, right? Isn't, it? Isn't it? So it's time for you to so vote on rehab. You've got to know Jack over the last eight hours. I'm sure you will have sure a view on him. Don't worry. It's just a test in human nature. <clears throat> Your votes won't really decide his fate. Shut it down! Just pull the plug or anything! Just shut it down! 
We can't. If we do, the broadcast will end. I'm sorry, Mitchell. I can't seem to access her mainframe. She's out of control. Tanya, you always assured us that that was impossible. Well, it is. I just told his dad, Vice President Fleming, that this wasn't possible. Well, it isn't. I mean, let me explain. Say you had a toaster, and your toaster makes perfect toast, and you love that toaster. One day you decide that you're going to get your toaster to make you a cup of coffee. <laughs> well, it's not going to happen. No matter what you do, and no matter how much you love that toaster, it's not going to make you a cup of coffee because it has the inner components to make toast. Toast? Mm-hmm. It's being investigated at their end. They're gonna send a Secret Service agent over to liaise with us. The VP's being very cagey. Dad is doing his best to make sure the press don't discover that it's his son being held hostage. Wow, great one, Dad. Exactly. Never trust a politician, especially if it's your own father. He also said the feds think someone paid him to go into the house. Which means it's probably the same person that's controlling Rhea. Oh, of course. But do you think he knows that? No, I don't think so. He was totally set up. Just some dumbass rich kid. If we don't get this under control before the authorities arrive, you and I are mm. toast. Tanya, can I ask you something? Mm-hmm. Well, you said that it wasn't possible for Rhea to kill. Why did you lie? Well, because sometimes people don't want to hear the truth. They want to hear something that makes them feel better. Oh, come on. We got an android to hack. No, the public are currently deciding your fate. I think it's only fair we give them the full story. Do you really think Daddy's money could hide this? man here, he knows what he did. He knows what he did. He murdered my only son. He has no idea what that does to a man's world, to his family, to his sanity. His father pays $9.4 million in hush money to keep his little secret safe. How does he know? I don't know, Mr. Vice President. I thought we covered all bases, but clearly not. All I wanted was an apology. I right, get you on the phone. I want this broadcast shut down right now. Yeah, OK. Get me done. Now remember this face. This, face. this man this is a murderer. Man is a murderer. He killed my only child. Sir? 
They're just in the transmission gallery. Are they now? Pull another stuff like that any time. Hi, I'm Mitchell, show's producer. This is Rob, director. Hi. Welcome to our little hub of entertainment. So that's what you call this, entertainment. We have a man being held hostage at a secret location that up until five minutes ago, your production company wouldn't disclose to us. Robert, I asked you to help out the FBI and the authorities as much as possible. Yes, anyway, I... it doesn't matter. They're on their way now. Do you understand? We'll do whatever we can to help. Good. Did you guys know he had a criminal record before you put him on air? Well, we did our background checks, of course, but you know, because he lied, we thought all was good. And we found out about his true identity all too late. Well, I swear we never knew anything about this so-called hit-and-run allegation. OK, I need to see those background checks. And I need to see the footage of where she said about that hit-and-run. Excuse me. This is all very impressive. Do you guys control everything Rhea does, or can she think for herself? Are you talking about AI? Yeah. No, Rhea totally relies on remote control. And that happens from the room downstairs. Normally, anyway. OK, I'm going to say this once. Rhea is like a dangerous weapon, a loaded gun, if you like. If she kills him, she can't be charged because she's a robot. But she's your property, so you can be charged. Got it? Now I suggest you pull this program right now, show at the very least you're willing to cooperate. OK, we'll do it right away. In the meantime, may I suggest my runner take you down to the control room where you can see how she's operated. You can also take a look at the files you requested. Good. Please, lead the way. Sir, would you like to come with me? Uh, can I get you any refreshments? OK, here's the deal. Get the team to cut the signal again. Really? But I... So, let me finish. Once that's done, contact that kid that tried to hack our house cameras last year. Pay him to keep the broadcast going over the net. OK, gotcha. Okay, ready for round two. Hmm. Took them longer than I thought it would. There you are. They got the feed jack. It's just me and you. And rear, of course. Public can't hear this anymore. Cowards. Not even Daddy can help you now. Hang on, hang on, it's online, it's online, look! It's oh my online. god! It took me a long time to find you, Jack. But I never forget that face. And when I found out who you were and what your family did, I knew for the sake of my little boy that I had to get justice myself. Are you afraid, Jack? You should be. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Okay. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about your son. And yeah, it's true. I had a car crash seven years ago, and I had heard that a little boy had died due to my stupidity. I ran like a coward. But I knew what I'd done was wrong. I wanted to go to the police. I swear to you, but my dad. He's a very powerful man. He made it all go away. And then he tried to cut me out of my own family like I was some kind of cancer. I took your money because I needed a way out. An escape. But there's no getting away from the guilt that I feel. 
the nightmares that I have or the pain that I have caused you. I am sorry for your loss, but I don't deserve to die. You tell me how I can make this right, and I'll do it. I know my schedule. I best prepare dinner. No! Please! Please forgive me! Forgive me! Watch the rest on this. I'll go get you another one. Pre-programmed or not, when I sit in this chair, Rhea becomes an extension of moi. Just not today, while this guy has her under his control. <sighs> Relax, will you? It would take a computer genius of some magnitude to break through my security. She simply cannot kill. End of. Um, what's going on? Sir, the image is being streamed online. Um, goddamn believable. They must have hacked our camera systems, too, to keep it broadcasting to the public. Really? Don't worry. We'll take it down before it does anything. No, I can't. Look. I never got to say goodbye to my son. And now it seems your father won't get to say goodbye to him. three miles away from the house already. The main power station, the tracker, they're both located in the house. It was designed that way so that she couldn't go too far. But if this guy's hacked those two... Where are your men? She's on the run. They'll never find her in that goddamn desert. She's strong. And she can run really, really fast. Only God knows how far she'll get from the house by now. Sir? The FBI are here. You wanted to see me, sir? Sit down. You've been my chief of staff for two years. 
worked by my side for 10. I trusted you with everything. I know it was you. He texted you while I was watching my son be murdered on your phone. I'm sorry, Mr. Vice President. I never thought he would take it that far. It years of guilt of what we did to that family. Don't! It got to me. I'm sorry. What are we doing here, Mitch? Where are we at? Listen, my arrest is the best thing that could have happened to the show. Oh, I know, the reruns have been getting more views than ever, but reruns won't last forever. Rhea has been MIA for months. Everyone wants her back, no matter what we do. Everyone will always want Rhea. She's irreplaceable. Washi, you just worry about how to get the ratings up next season. Next season? You got that key I left you? Uh, yeah. Then what are you waiting for? Happy holidays, Rob. If you were here, you know I'd kiss you, right? You're a fucking genius. Mwah. Oh, Jack, isn't the Christmas tree just beautiful? And the fairy on top is just perfect. The stockings are filled up with so many presents. Oh. I've been so looking forward to tonight's episode. Tonight we get to find out if it's Tony's baby or Tony's twin brothers. I think it's Tony's twin brothers. Oh, Jack, I just love Christmas. I think it's my favorite time of year. Of course, babe. Mine too. Right in July. consciousness how could they what are you scared of i'm scared they'll take me back there Jim. no i won't let them i also know that when you're gone i'm scared but when you're here i'm not Do you care about me, Rear? I love you, Jack. I'm... 
Sorry, I'm not perfect anymore, Jack. I'm broken. Maybe you could get a new ear like they did. No, no. We're all broken. That's what makes us so human. That's what makes you so very unique. Because there's no replacing you, Rhea. I'm damaged too. I let hate, vengeance get the better of me, and I'm tired of it. How can you love me? I just do, Jack. It's, it's David. Hello, David. Do it.